so that no, don't give her anything. So no, I wanted this to happen. We've been back a couple of days. Yeah, a few sleeps, Tan. Back from Scotland. And now we're right. off again. A thousand mile round trip. We've got a few horses to go and see. Um, and we've got we away two or three nights. Yeah, two or three nights. Right, but we go we from back. one place, then hours to another place. Yeah. And then it's like hour. a round robin trip, isn't it? And as usual, there's the UK map. And we are basically heading from here across the centre of Wales to near ross on Wye, a famous salmon fish in there. And then that's for this pony today. And then kind of in the next few days, we kind of go around like this. So yeah, big, big trip for us. But the first one is around here, ross on Wye. Yeah. But, uh, so today's, well, the one, the first one, Yeah. Um, you've just read it to me now, is a, only a little pony, Twelve hands. but they can be the most troublesome, Tanya, we all know that. Yes. Uh, mainly the way, you know, a lot of ponies uh, are kind of, you know, tippeted and, uh, and killed with kindness to a certain extent. But they're the same brain as a big horse, so you have to treat them pretty much the same way and be very careful uh, what seed you set, you know. So this one is, can be lethal with his back feet. Yes. did ask for a video like I do with a lot of these jobs. Have you got any video footage? I was sent the video Hi. footage. This is all there was. And uh, she did fair play, bless her. She tried to film it, but it actually, uh, Ruby actually kicked the phone out of her hand hard. Hi. So she was lucky, said, don't do it again. Uh, and there was also a couple of uh, pictures of, of the little So we're a couple of hours well. away, yeah. yeah. So that was funny. There we are on the motorway going along. Thought I recognised that car. Past our friends and they're off to the airport. They're going to Crete. Yeah, Crete at the moment. It's, it's 45. It's so hot there at the moment. We said good luck. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh no. Where did that come from? Look up in the sky. You think that's temporary? Yeah. It's going to go by the time oh, we get there. Oh, see. And just like that. It's weird, isn't it? It reminds me of the Floridian weather. Yeah, it reminds me of Forrest Gump. Oh, yeah, just like that. Somebody turned off the rain and the sun came out. Like that. So, how far are we away from where we're going, roughly? 0.7 miles. Oh, Tanya, I'd love to go to that castle. I've heard. Can't you zoom in on it? Wow. When we've done the job, we could uh, go around it. Do you want to? I'd like to. Three hour journey after mine, but we're oh, going. Wow. Oh, it's traveling. very busy. A lot of people there. Do you fancy that then? Whoa. Look at that. Yeah? Yep. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Come on then, I'll do it. Back up. Uh, Unrequested watch, forward motion. I'm watch this blooming. Yeah, you're on a road here. Uh, oh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Only just about get down here. Oh, stream. That's a bit extreme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a quaint little village. Yeah. Right, we're going to turn right. Oh, look at that gatehouse. Yeah. Lanthy Court or something yeah. like that. 0.7 mile. It's quite quaint round right here, isn't it? So, okay, guys, so this is the little Ruby. <laughs> Stephen, it's Ruby. Is it Ruby? Yeah. Want to be in that eye? Oh, okay. Um, okay, so just had a quick rundown. This little pony was bought um, two years ago as a first ridden, which is <laughs> absolutely superb for that. Perfect for that. I'll try I know that Charlotte size. often says a lot of people buy these first riddens too too young and this little pony Ruby has done the job great uh, so far but there was an inherited problem of uh, 
back feet are this this little pony ruby can be lethal with a back feet has to be sedated uh, and it's getting to the stage now where quite rightly her owner is starting to think I can't risk the children like this um, because things I have at times got even worse now so let's see uh, all the physical checks have been done obviously um, and, and the pony's still being ridden I mean 18 I've seen people riding these ponies at 25, 25, 26. So, you know, a few years yet for her to do her job. If you notice there, guys, did you see how, how, when I went to touch her, she just pulled her head away as if to say, oh, you're a farrier or, you know, who are you? Don't want no part of you. Yeah, noticed immediately that. Um, so not a great start, really. And her job, we all have a job in life. And your job is to carry the little kids. And there, I didn't miss that straight away. Ruby walked straight as if she's just going to walk through me there. Uh, picked up on that. That's unrequested forward motion. Uh, back to straight up. Has to be done immediately. Back you up a little. All right. So, now look at the attitude there. She didn't want to yield. She's not used to yielding. That attitude there, the pinning ears. The, the strange look, as you say, you've just moved me and she will, she's not used to that, I could tell. Uh, so, yeah, we've got some work. There is a little bit there, which I don't like. She's saying, I'm trying to get away with that one. Right, not with me in a minute. Right then, so, I can see already she's quite opinionated. Yeah? Quite opinionated. <laughs> now, I'm going to call your lovely owner Flower because <laughs> due to security reasons with her job, Okay, so you're seeing a kite and attitude. I'm not going to do anything at the moment about it. This is definitely too big. Okay, definitely too big. Uh, so let's try this. Do you want to shut that door, Tom? And then. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, we'll try that. <laughs> oh, then look what I just noticed. Oh dear. Look me in the eyes. Tell me the truth. How often? <laughs> you're not going to be. <laughs> You're not going to believe her. You just, she literally just got those like to get the Shetland. She does have a little feed now and again. Feed's fine, but just... A handful of ponies and a high five. But we she... don't really give treats now. Don't really give. Just no. tell me roughly how often, because I, I really would stop that. Yeah, that. no, hand, honestly... hand feeding. Hand feeding. I know it's a real controversial subject, guys. Some people are convinced they should do it. Some people are convinced they shouldn't do it. Now, I just mention things when I'm at these jobs, what I feel at the time. One of the biggest problems is the, the hand feeding, the concentrating, uh, causes a lot of the problems that I go to try and fix. Now, everyone has their own opinion on it. I don't get into any discussions really with people. I get asked the question about hand feeding probably more than any other question. Or pretty much everyone that I kind of trained with and learnt from, um, I won't name drop, but some of the best horsemen, i.e. Ray Hunt, Bill Dorrance, Tom Dorrance, Tom Curtin, um, the, Buck Brannerman, uh, Leslie Desmond, you know, Len Judd. There's so many horsemen that I kind of, um, you know, learnt from. None of them hand fed, guys. None of them fed treats. None of them allowed a horse to come into their space and take feed from them. They didn't do it. And I learned very early on. I mean, it, br mentioning Leslie Desmond, uh, just has just brought something uh, up. I picked Leslie Desmond. I met Leslie Desmond in California. She actually wrote one of the best books there is, really, to to read on horsemanship. I think uh, there it is Leslie wrote wrote this book for Bill Dorrance, uh, one of the godfathers of horsemanship. Um, she wrote the book in his words. She is a, a fabulous horsewoman in her own right. You, uh, you know, I do things a lot differently than Leslie does, but learnt a lot from Leslie. And we all have our own ways of doing things. But I remember meeting Leslie in California for a couple of years running, and then Leslie come and did a couple of clinics in the UK. And I picked Leslie up long years ago from the airport, uh, Cardiff Airport actually. And I picked Leslie up, we got into the car, uh, ready to take her back to my place because she stayed with us a week. And Leslie looked straight at me and said, 
Steve, do you hand feed your horses? Now, I was never a constant hand feed of horses, but I used to, I yes, I did. I did, I, I go, uh, it's probably 25 more years ago. And Leslie said, Steve, you will never feed hand feed horses again in your life after I've, you know, after, when I'm gone. And she was right. Uh, the things that she knew about hand feed and what it causes, uh, it, was, it was unbelievable. She knew so much about, I got, I think, a dozen horses or more in training at the time. And uh, Leslie knew which ones were, which ones weren't. She knew about things that he affects. And I learned a lot from that and I stopped doing it completely. Okay, completely. So that's where I come from, from the hand feeding stance. Now there's Leslie uh, has recently uh, put a little video up of an accident that occurred. And this horse was a prolific ham feeding horse. It had been uh, raised as an orphan, I think. Uh, and it kind of didn't have any parameters with people. Uh, there was no real leadership possible with it. Leslie was asked to help. Leslie, um, there's a clip here of what happened. The clip that uh, Leslie put up, guys, here, she takes hold of the horse and the horse just immediately. And this is... This is slow motion, so you can see here Leslie takes the horse and recognises the ears pin here. She recognises that, there's the ears pinning. She backs off, she knew what, what was coming there. And there the horse kicks her around the chest area and sends her flying back. There's Leslie there hitting the deck and the way she hits the deck with her arm, it breaks her arm in two places and she had to have a cast on and everything but that just shows you guys even the best horse people in the world can can get caught out with spoiled horses and basically like this. there guys she just went to take the lead rope and that horse it broke her arm uh broke her arm uh knocked her fly and she i think she broke her arm as she hit the floor but you know the, the pinned ears the i mean that horse meant it uh and it, it's uh, a lot of that is is the allowing the horse to take feed from us and uh, i just wanted to get that in there but like i say i don't do it i i when i go out to jobs i'm there i give my advice and then hope that the customer uh, the client takes it you know everyone's got a free will free mind uh, i'll leave it at that okay i'll just very quickly add in there some people say to me what is the reward you give for the horse the reward for the horse what means more to the horse in my way of thinking is comfort, safety and leadership. That's what a horse seeks and that's the reward. Just want to add in here that um, Ruby's owner did say she does not and really tries not to hand feed Ruby. So I'll make that, make that as clear as I can. I think it's a product from the past, um, you know. She kind of knows something, <laughs> uh, apparently, when she realises someone's going to touch her feet or mess with her. So I'm going to her now, you know, <laughs> this, this kind of attitude. Look, she's an, she's, she's she 18. says she's heard she's, about you. She's been pulled around a lot in her life. Do you know what I mean? You can understand. She's yeah. got a little bit sour. Uh, she's not shy, fortunately, but I think you're very wise to get some help with this because around kids, I've seen it when they get a little bit older, they can okay. uh, just suddenly kick okay. you don't want that with a kiddie do you no, no, no. uh right okay so what i'm going to do is first of all just see what you got what what we've got here so i've got my just to see how we're getting on if we can do something i'm going to use a clip here which goes on go on here <laughs> go on here and if she pulls back can you see yeah she, she won't she won't hurt herself come here little little roots what a nice day now we just come up so uh, we've got and you don't really want to break in string because it makes them do it more yeah yeah all right so that's one of our safety ties there so, I'm going to put my hat on in case she kicks me in the head. <laughs> do, you wanna, do you wanna just quickly show me before I do that, or are you a bit worried too? Or? Yeah, no, I don't, I, I, yeah, do I, I drive back? 
Yeah, do you want to speak a fit up, Joe? Yeah, yeah, show me, yeah. show me what we got. Do you want to hear that on or? Yeah. yeah. Just in case. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it's these little ones that can cause a lot of damage to people, yeah. And hold on. And that just shows you guys how hard these little ponies can kick. Um, you know, fortunately, no one's hurt there. But, like, you've got to be really, really careful with children, even adults around these these ponies that, you know, that are apt to kick. So the attitude, come in and be very careful. Uh, one more time. Uh, Okay, don't do it because see this swishing of the tail then that's saying in a minute I'm gonna because when you've got shaking head, pin the ears and the tail. That's when you know that's in there. Okay, so that's what we've got. Okie doke. Uh, there was a sudden uh, gust of wind coming through a couple of times in the video, not much at all guys, so just forgive us for that tiny little bit of wind noise. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to do some groundwork with her first, so I can move her feet around. I don't need this until I start doing her feet. But it's not worth doing her feet until she's got a bit more respect for people. Yeah, yeah. Did you, you okay choose this space, or do you want to go over to the... Uh, so we've well, got well, a well, well, arena. Well, yeah, I'm just, I'm thinking about the, the wind. Uh, if I go out there, it's going to be wind, really windy. This uh, is not too bad here, is it? Just over there. I'll do a little bit here first. Yeah, yeah. The reason it can benefit being here... Yeah. I do it all there, this is where she has all her problems. Isn't it? Yeah, 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 exactly. Barrier comes here, yeah, sometimes we'll make a mistake, we'll go somewhere new, comes back here, and just slide into a little bit there, if you touch your feet. So I'll uh, move around a little bit here, but I will be quite firm when she starts giving the attitude a little bit. Yeah, because we don't want that thought going into her head. I've slowed this down guys because it's important with all the bad attitude the grouchy ears threatening to kick kicking even uh first time I led uh I led her I immediately stopped and um, that's what I call by firming up I'm looking at the feet I needed to yield I need a feet to free up um she's kind of um, not really working that out yet there. Uh, I bump her a few times. I'm asking her to get back out of my space, just like she would, Ruby would, with a with a, an alpha horse. There, look, right there, her feet backed off, and that was uh, when I released her. And then we realised that the uh, halter was too too um, big, so we, we've changed that. I'm going to bring her. Will she stop? Not too good. I want her to stop immediately. So I need her to yield. For her to not think about kicking us, she needs to yield better. Now I'm starting to get somewhere now with Ruby. I can feel things are starting and I need, I need respect from her. I need some kind of communication to her feet to have any chance of changing uh, years of having to be sedated, of threatening um, owners, you know, with those lethal really back feet. So you've just seen me firm up. I left it in guys, I firmed up with, with Ruby. I needed to, I'm in mean, the moment. I had to do something that actually made made Ruby think slightly differently about me and how she would perceive in treating me. So yes, I firmed up. Did I hurt her? Not one bit. Uh, do I feel guilty about firming up with her? Not one bit, because my focus is on not only saving Ruby, because if Ruby ends up kicking somebody, then she's a goner, and quite rightly. Uh, uh, if she hurts someone, she, 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 she's not got a future. Whoever she kicks, she could seriously hurt. So I'm there trying to kind of save both, really. Uh, so I know what I needed to do in the moment, uh, pitch I didn't have a round pen because a round pen would really help things as well. Uh, maybe I wouldn't have had to bump so hard on it. But that's where we are, guys. I, I need to t say that to you. Uh, there are times now, should you bump and firm up like this? If you don't, you know, if you can't, if you haven't got the time in that's necessary, you can make a, a pony like Ruby even worse. 
So it's knowing you can get through these things and, and get the message across uh, in a fitting way and an understanding way to be able to change a way of thinking. So not everyone can get this done, guys. Uh, uh, so again, get professional help if you think you might be over your head a little bit. I've said that quite a few times. Uh, crack on. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm looking at her feet. I'm just going to tap on and every time she heals, we put pressure on the stop. Back up. Back up. Thank you. Go on. Stop. Now, I'm going to keep asking her for, for her attention on me. So when she looks at other things, a little bump. You'll get a copy of this video. So these yeah, yeah. are things you need to work on. She needs to stop when you stop. You need her attention on you. Just a little bump. So she's with us, okay? And by, by, um, just leave her alone when she's, see how she's with me there? Yeah. So I'll say, okay. Now I'm gonna disengage her hind quarter. I need to be able to control this back end. So when it goes underneath there, I'm gonna leave her alone. Yeah. Come forward to myself, stop. That's what I wanted. Do you see the stop? Do you see the eyes she put me in? So I can keep, just leave her rest. When either she's looking at me in that eye, straight disengaging her hind end okay that's not bad stop back up back up a bit more thank you forward back up nice okay right then now you see how her mouth is quite clamped mm -hmm. so i'm going to see whether i can break it okay so I'm going to do quite a bit of that with her. Getting her, because a loose mouth is a relaxed horse. So just crack the mouth when you're going to do a feed, basically, you know, as much as you can. And then the only, see how she's saying no to me? So the only time she'll get rid of that now is when she comes towards me. There, you see her come towards me. I don't want to keep going. She's going to try and work with me a little bit. She is. The only way she's going to get rid of that. There. Okay, girl. Yeah. She physically seems alright, doesn't she? Not yours. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bump her a little bit. Okay. Now we'll lower her head down a little. Have you done any of what I'm doing? Done any of, have you done any groundwork really? A little bit, but not anything. Okay. Now I wanted to start knowing that maybe I'm a good guy as well as you're going to be firm with her. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to drop her head down a little bit here and see whether she'll relax with me. No need to kick everyone. Hey kid, no need. No need. So you don't know the history, you don't know if she's been had her legs dressed at an early age and realised that the pain and everything that she got, that's yeah. why they probably sedated her and then it become a part of her life being sedated. Would you say that's about right? Possibly, yeah. yeah. Hey mate, hey mate. Right then, so now if we get any piggy ears and she gets swishy tailed with me, then I'm gonna do something and keep doing it till it's not in her interest to do it. Mm -hmm. So in other words, like if she pins her ears at you, smile about it and maybe disengage her 20 times. Okay. And then if she does it again, so they've got to work out by, there's nothing for her if she swishes a tail and pins her ears. It, it has no, does her no good because you just do something of quality to her. So she thinks, well, let's not do that. So, uh, I'm asking for a forward set. Now, where's my flag? Right here. Now, all I want is a forward step from her. Okay, that's all I want. Just one forward step. So I'm gonna go from neutral here. So I've gotta be able to control these feet. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask her. Right, so now I've gone because she moved the foot. Okay. She moved the foot. Stop. She's already responding all right, isn't she? She's mm -hmm. trying to, right, so now move her foot. Engage. Back up to the pace. 
go this way. Nice attitude. You notice a change there? Yeah, yeah. Disengage, back up. That's it. Do you see the, stru the strength in the need to have me in that eye? Mm -hmm. Something you've got to be aware of. Yeah, yeah. Because it will be that side that she kicks out. Right. right. Okay, I'm going to put my hat on now. Everything clear so far? Yeah, yeah. Okay. These are absolutely brilliant. Because if they have any of these horses broke string, uh, no, the, my chest that mare down there does. Yeah, all yeah. the time. Every time they break it, you know now with your chestnut mare, you could never risk tying her solid. No, no, no. She, no, would, no. she would hurt herself yeah, because yeah. she is now convinced, oh. convinced that when she pulls and there's a pressure come here, she loses her power of flight. You've heard of fight and flight. Yeah. Their animals are flight, they need their, that's why they're so fast, they've got to get away. Okay? So when we tie on string and they pull, panic a little bit, the pressure comes in, they can't move them. So if they break it, snap, three times I say it takes three times in their life and they are pulled back horses. But these eliminate the worry of it. Okay, brilliant. And what you can do, like if I had your chest, say if you gave me your chest up there and I knew that was a problem, then each day, 20 times a day, I would tie her in this and I would spook her deliberately. Yeah, yeah. So she would start knowing yeah. that she can pull back, yeah. nothing breaks, nothing. there's no relief of pressure till she goes forward. So over time, they realise the way to get rid of the pressure is to go yeah, yeah. forward. Yeah. 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 Make it sense? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. This round here. Uh, it's already better, isn't it? Yeah. Would you say? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 100%. 100%. Right then, so now my goal is to get her to realise with a human being around that you can take the weight off the foot. Because what she was doing when you went down, she's getting pissy, but she's putting weight, more weight on it, as yeah. if to say, not a hoe, without my injections, will you get my feet up. So what I'm gonna work on now, okay, I'm gonna put a bit of pressure and I will only take that pressure off bloody wasp here. All right, so I've just took it off. She needs to know first of all it's to take the foot off. So a bit of pressure, right, tell her how good she is. Bit of pressure, tell her how good she is. Bit of pressure, right. Now what I want us to try and do is realise she puts that, there's pressure unless she puts it, a toe on it. Just a toe, see a toe? Mm -hmm. Right, a little bit of pressure. Right, take it off. I want just a toe. See how there's no pressure with a toe there? Can you see it? Yeah. Look. Yeah. She's just resting it. She's yeah. resting. Yeah. So that's the first thing to do. Tell her how good she is. Now, if she pins her ears or do anything, I'm gonna try not to do any, if I try and deal with that and that, I'm going to lose something. Mm -hmm. So it might be a case of just putting up with a little bit of learned behaviour here, yeah. unless I know it's threatening. Yeah. So I don't lose something. Mm -hmm. But after that was good, then a couple of weeks later, I'd be working on the attitude. Mm -hmm. okay? okay. Right. Okay. So what I need to do now is I need to move her to here. And there's a reason for it. If anyone's doing this at home, guys, there's a reason for why I want her here. Because where I am here, in an instant flick of a second, millisecond, she could come here and kick me, right? Here, if I do it with her here, you understand, I'm a little bit safer. Mm. Here, so I'm gonna move around to here. She knows it as well. She's gone to there deliberately to say, now I have everything I need mm. to move you out of the way. Mm. Here she hasn't. So I'm gonna see whether I can 
um, bring her over. Um, so what, the way I'm going to move her over, I'm going to get my flag. Oh yeah, thank you. Now she's got rid of the flag, she needs to be over there. Now, did you see what I just done? Mm -hmm. So if I ask you, you're going to look at this high end, you're going to just shake it, but immediately she goes, this go, she has to have the, she got to know she has the power to get rid of that. We're doing something with her feet, right, okay. all right? It's got to be oh, it's got to be instant. <laughs> but I'm safer there, all right? So I'm going to... Uh, take this off for a minute and bring her there so I am already this tight. So if you move out the way, so we'll bring her around. Okay. So that's on there. Right then, if you want to bring her around, just a little bit of. Stand back a bit. Yeah. Okay, and again, start off soft. There. So that's took her. Uh, not long. Now you retreat now with the flag, okay? Okay, in fact, you put the flag down now. <laughs> <laughs> right, so if she comes again, yeah. when she comes, you yeah. smile yeah. and you just bring her back for me. Okay. Simple as that. Right. We're starting to control her yeah. parts okay. and tell her how good she is. Right, so now I want to go back to this. So I am going to say, right, a little bit of pressure. Can you see this, Tanya? Mm -hmm. These toes. Right, so I am, right, I'm gonna, I want her on her toes. So a weight off, a weight on, a weight off, a weight on, on, a weight off, a weight on, a weight off. Now she doesn't feel, there, can you see that toe now? Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to tell her how good she is. I'm going to tell her how good she is here. Now have you got any of the, our licks? Do you use them at all? Can you pass me the lick? Now look, I'll need her to, right? So what I'm going to ask you to do, You've got to time this exact now. Uh, yeah, I to do yeah, so put it behind your back. Right. So when I say yes, yeah. you let her lick it, okay? okay? When I say away, you straight behind your back, all right? So, okay, so, look ready? Right then, so. Um, no, 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 don't bring it. Right, now flag again, flag around to me. From where you are, Okay, so I'm gonna start again now. Right, okay, there, okay, uh, okay. So, I'm gonna hold, hold this up. Okay, I'm gonna take a chance now. Get ready with that, okay. Whoops, don't do anything with it yet. Okay, give it a lick. Give it the lick. Is she having it? Yeah. yeah. No. Now I'm gonna tell you when to take it away, all right? Yeah. Good. One, two, three, take it away. Just go away, go away from her. I'm only, I'm only, I'm not. That's the way I am, right? I don't see this, and I don't see, I know differently about this pony, but I have to tell you. Okay, uh, flag back to me. But stay over there. Not yet. Okay, so I'm going to bring a foot up with this now. No. Now, now I'm going to, right? Don't give her anything. So I wanted this to happen. This has always worked for her. No, Don't give it a no, year. no. Behind your, behind your back. So I want her to trash out as much as she can. Because that is not the answer. Going quiet is the answer. Okay, right, give it. Give it now. Give it. And you take it away when I tell you, all right? Take it away when I tell you. Take it away. Shit, my timing was bad. She took it away from me exactly. The, did you see the point then? My time was bad then. Okay, right, get ready. Don't do it yet. Right, so, I'm gonna take hold. Right, okay, give it. One, two, three, take away. Now, don't get your flag, look what you've caused. <laughs> Let me 
Next it up. Good. Now we're desensitizing her now. Really smile when you do it, alright? You gotta smile when you do it. Right, okay. So let's get ready with that now. Drop the flag. Okay, get ready. Alright, you ready? Yeah. Okay. Not yet. Good. Good now. Take away. Uh, give. Take away. Now let let her think about that. Now if you go and get your flag and get her back to me again, stay where you are. Yeah. Go on. Yeah. Stop. Very good. Cheers. You're getting better at that. You are. <laughs> uh, right. Get ready. Flag down. Okay. Now, do you just say we're getting anywhere? Yeah, definitely. Yeah? Okay. So get ready with it. Get ready with it. And then I'm going to pick this up and then give, give. That was without the rope then. That was without the rope. Go. Now, we're going to put this horse in the stable for a minute to think about what's just took place. And we're back, back up. That's getting better. Much better. And look what I, look what I that is. You might find, we get this done enough for you to continue it. When you've cracked this, you've changed a lot about this pony. Because that is a big hang up, not letting humans touch its back feet. Can you imagine? Yeah. It's not giving up its power of flight. Mm -hmm. Those are its en that's its engine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make sense what I just said? Yeah. Okay, All right, let's just, we have to now retreat. Let her, let her think that was probably the biggest thing in her life for a long time, that one I've just done there in that time. So now, she needs to just realize and analyze. Okay, so we've had a break now. Uh, I've formulated a plan uh, because this is about a plan working for her owner. So I, I probably have this done now to a certain extent, but that's no good. It's got to transfer. So we, we're setting up a works, um, like a scenario, which for the next couple of months uh, will be stuck to by by the letter which which they'll stick to this kind of program for now uh, until it's time to sort of move on to other areas but if you do it in this area it's where it'll be straight back for Ruby thinking oh yes okay so we're gonna change it now we've had the feet up with the hindquarters over here yeah now we're gonna change it this might be a little different because this is the eye that she doesn't want people on. Mm -hmm. So we'll get the hindquarters over here um, and then I'll get you to do the same thing then, pushing the hindquarters over for me so I'm safer there. Okay. All right? Yeah. So we'll bring her out. Lift on. Make sure. See, if she panicked, yeah. you're not going to lose I can't see all. anything there. Huh? I no. can't see a damn thing. Well, you always check that these are sliding. So, hindquarters to the to the horses right so look i'm going to look at them remember mm. you're going to stay and then I, when they go right there i backed off okay turn around good shit over with those hind quarters up that way Uh, these things happen guys things go slightly wrong sometimes here ruby goes forward and this is the best example to show how these safety clips work she she pulls there through 
and that rope gives through the safety tie. And you see you've got about 10 foot that comes out there, so there's no harm done. She's had a release now for going forward. Um, I can't tell you how good these clips are. We send them all over the world, guys, our clips. Um, yeah, get in touch if you think you could use one of these. They are... I, I, I would never use anything but these uh, safety tools. That works. So, yeah. Okay, now ideally, I wanted to come this way now, now I want to take her back. So I'm looking at a hind end. Not forward. There. See how I'm doing that? Yeah. Because we've got to have for safety, we don't want her out here. Yeah. I've got to be safe behind there. Alright, tell her how good she is. Okay. So I'm going to now bring her around like I did before. You're going to have the flag. All right. Now, you ready? Resting. Yes. Okay. So now she might thrash out. Hopefully she will. So now I've took it off because she's too. All right. So a bit of pressure, take it off. A bit of pressure, take it off. Now, it's resting. Can you look at the toe? Yeah. All right. This proves that she can take because you wasn't sure physically she can take the weight off that foot mm -hmm. look see the toe yeah so i'm telling her that's good yeah. all right okay so that's brilliant look she won't take it off now will she because she knows there's no she knows there's no pressure all right. all right so that's the first thing make sure the weight can be transferred off now you're going to be ready with that lid mm -hmm. if she comes that way mm -hmm. you're going to kind of move and you'll get her back to me She's got to know that by moving, does nothing for her. She's just got to come back. Okay, so you get ready with it? Yeah. Okay, so, like I say, she kicked out now, she could get me once and I can be here out the way. Yeah? All right, so, I'm going to rub her first. So, give her a little bit now. Tell me when you're giving it up. Yeah. yeah. Okay? Yeah. Okay, take it away. Yeah. Good timing. And again, don't give it yet. All right, now I'm going to take the weight off this foot now. Give it. Yeah. Okay. Is that better than it's been? Yeah. yeah. Take it away. No, tell her how good she is. Good girl. Good girl. Now, those pinning ears, we can't do anything about that at the moment because I'll lose this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to first of all take the weight off the foot. Yeah. So there, now it's off. Let's see how she's on her. Yeah. Right, get ready. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Give it. Yeah. Good girl. Give it. There you go. Now I'll tell you whether to take it off. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. Take away. Yeah. No rub on her. Just rub on her. Don't pat her. Just rub on her. Rub on her. That's it, girl. I ideally wanted her to go a few times, really, mm. so that she had the nightmare of having to come back, so it did yeah. nothing for her. Play with us. We're not going to hurt you. Mm. Okay, you see what she's done with her foot? Mm. She's deliberately, she knows if she puts that foot flat and waits it while I've got this rope on, she's just going to put up with that pulling me. Mm. Mm. Okay, get ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. Okay, good. Give. Now if I tell you to take it up, take it away. Right? Give. Take it away. Give. Take it away. Right. Rub on that. Is that the best that foot's been? Yeah. Without a doubt? Yeah, absolutely. The Abby's last. Is it? Yeah. Is that better? Oh, yeah. 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 The other one's better than that. Yeah, we're doing this one and then we're going to 
Uh, once, once I know, because I'm going to be careful, because kids' lives are at stake here, believe it or not, this is what we're talking about. So I want to make sure that the equine brain's right, that everything's working, and then, yeah, you, you're working on their, our ideas, we've got to become their idea. Okay, so, watch her again. Watch it, no, watch her fit. Mm -hmm. So I'm putting pressure. Yeah. Now I'm tuck it off. Yeah. Now see where her, see where her foot, her toe is. Get ready. Yeah. Okay. Okay, give. Take away. Take away. This is where I'm safe-ish here. Yeah. You've got to learn that that doesn't do anything. The thrashing doesn't do it, doesn't get rid of 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 it. There. Okay, get ready? Yeah. Give. You give in? Yeah. Okay. Right there. Breakdown becomes a breakthrough. So from a breakdown, you get a breakthrough and then it really it really sticks with a lot of horses. <laughs> One, two, three. I'm telling her good shit. Okay. So did you see what I did then? Yeah. She decided to take it from me. So you hold the rope, no amount of thrashing is gonna get rid of that. And sometimes with some big horse, I have to get up on something and freaking hold it while they're there because one touch from some of them big horses and I'm a gunner. Yeah, yeah. So I have to try and keep myself safe but try and hold pressure until they go like half an hour later they go uh, right so look watch again yeah. I've got a special string to have for this yeah. for you um, I'll get it in a minute when we do it second I'll show you how to use the string yeah. right it's not as long as this but it doesn't need to be right ready yeah. watch it watch it you've got to watch the toe again yeah. bit of pressure I'm holding, I'm not letting go at all till that. See where yes. her toe is? Yes. Because now she's unweighted. Yes. Get ready with the lick. Yes. Okay. Give. Okay. Give. Okay. Good. That's good. And it. You got the right bloke here, didn't you? <laughs> huh? You got the right bloke. Um. Well, I'm going to take this off now. Take off one, two, three. Right. Now I'm going to attempt to pick it up without the rope, okay? Okay. So get ready with the lick. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Give. One, two, three, take away. Right, in the stable, let us think and digest that. And then we'll work out where we're going. Come on, you want a little bit of that? Oh, yeah, that's nice, isn't it? I'll take this clip off of that now. Mm. I'm going to do a bit of groundwork now. I'm going to, are you going to be ready with that? Yeah. You're going to go home with it, thank you, huh? <laughs> She's already got one. She's like, I don't want to get it wrong. Do we go, listen, should we get this up? Well, yeah, go on. Yeah, let's get yeah that. I'll get that. Yeah. Strings. That's going to help you. They got a little splice in the, in the end. Yeah. Um, a little bit thinner, so it'll mean more. I have the big ones because these are big horses, really. So that'll go through, and you'll just hold till the toe. Remember, I've showed you. Yeah. And then you're ready right. because you've already unweighted. Yes. A big problem comes when you ask. That as you start to, t they, you need the weight to come here, yeah. pick that, and you're pulling a fetlock. That's what we all do. That's where a lot of it goes. But if you're already wet and weighted, it's only going to do that. Yeah. Common sense, but we don't. We're not. We're not taught it, are we? That's a bit. This now, I'm not going to waste anything because it's all about us directing her feet, her not moving out with her. Right. The more I can direct her feet, like I was originally, the more she won't feel the need to say no to me about too much. Yeah. Certainly all of that pinning ears and switching and that would gradually just not enter her head because I have to be alpha. I have to be, I know it's a partnership, but really if it's 50-50, <laughs> we better watch out, haven't we? It's anarchy, so we have to be the leader. So I'm gonna 
not wait this now. I'm going to send her out. I'm going to send her from here. Now I might disengage her hindquarters. Then that's nice. Now I'm going to send you back in. You see? Don't waste. Now I've disengaged her. Stopped her. Backed her up one. So there, in the space of seconds, I've just done, you know, some work with her that's saying, ah, oh, I do what you ask with my feet. Uh, such, such an important thing that's missed. We don't, we go to so many little ponies, don't we, Tan? Mm -hmm. And they're the most lethal little things because people don't, oh, oh, aren't they lovely? Oh, have another 10 treats of me. Uh, oh, you don't like that flavour? Let's go and get a different flavour. Honestly, and we could kill them in kindness. That equine brain is no different than a big shire horse there. Their minds work exactly the same. And if, please, I know you said you don't tip bit. Mm. Don't tip bit yeah. this one. Yeah. Not with our attitude because all this work. You give them in buckets and we have sit there, yeah. Yeah, but if you're going to give them in a bucket, make them stand back a little bit for okay. it. Because okay. it's, and this is not true for every horse, but this one that's threatening to kick people's head yeah, off, yeah, yeah. you know, that's the worst thing you do for a horse like this because what you're teaching it is, come into my space and take my feed from me. They don't, any alpha horse will not allow another horse to do that. Yeah. You put the feed down and what will happen? It'll kick. Yeah. yeah. And that's what we do. Some of them, it screws with the heads. It'll just all go to pot and she will not do that if you let her come in and take your feed from you. It will not work. So Unless you're the, a real experienced clicker trainer, you've heard of those, yeah, clicking yeah, to... Yeah, yeah. What's missed there is you've got to be really experienced to get that thing done right. You know, and there is some great horses trained that way, but a lot of people haven't got the time in and it can just all go horribly wrong. So with feeding, feeding just walk away, give it a knock. I feed, I went to one the other day, 18 months, uh, big Connemara. Beautiful relationship they've got with, with riding, oh amazing. R through the, on the, in the sea, beautiful. You go to feeding time and it's got that bad. The horse, in all fairness, the horse was, I've seen pictures, the horse was skin and bone when they got it from Ireland. And it's a beautiful horse and she inherited the problem. Ma even making the feed there, it's trying to get over the stable door bearing teeth, pinned ears, right? I've seen it a lot. And it got to a stage where she didn't want to do anything about it because she just wanted to get feed into this horse. And it got, it started to get to a stage with the kids around. Yeah. The devil in the field now. So you take feed in the field, it's rearing, it's bearing. So she contacted my daughter and uh, we went down. And, uh, and I changed that, I changed that. And then we've had messages back. So that when you take the feed, flag them to the back of the stable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, you go in, yeah. the feed does not go on the floor till the horse's ears are good and they look away. Horses learn to look away. You, you look, look in, if you really want to know horses, they say, watch them for 24 hours, you heard. Get someone to bring you some life-saving water. You sit there and you watch them for a day mm. and you'll learn a lot about it, the eye, eye contact and movement and everything. So you get, them back the only way that horse can have its feed is back off yeah go quiet look away put it down go it's changed that horse's life it's changed everything and uh, that's what i would be doing but like i said i don't want to you got me for a couple of hours yeah. so i can't do it all i've tried in the past to like do too much yeah and you can go backwards yeah. uh, so my main concern is your kid's not getting there because how hard can that little thing kick? How hard? Hard. They can kick through this. It's just unbelievable how powerful they are. We think they're a nice little uh, miniature donkey. I remember where we, where we were, um, where we used to live in the Midlands. He was a lovely guy as well. Miniature donkey kicked him in the chest, killed him. Killed him. Stopped his heart. We got to be careful. Yeah. Right. So now I'm gonna bring her out. Okay. Bring her out. And I'm gonna here disengage her. This way. One, two. All I'm doing, I'm going to hawk towards this. Look. So she's moving this the, uh, back legs away away from me. All right. Now I'm gonna come out of it. Stop. Back up two paces. I'm gonna just bump there. Come forward a pace. Stop that foot. 
disengage, straighten up, back up. Thank you. Tell her how good she is. I'm gonna lower her head. You'll see this on video. Just a little bit of pressure, little bit of pressure, release, pressure, release, pressure. Should we keep a bit of pressure? See how I've got a bit of pressure? So I wanted to relax a little bit here. She's going up, up, not down. So I just keep the pressure on until in a second she's going to just dip slightly. Um, so a bit of pressure, a bit of pressure, a bit of pressure. Keep it going. I've got till tomorrow morning, so we're all right. <laughs> all right. So what I'm going to do now, I haven't let go of the pressure. I'm going to put a little bit of pressure, a little squeeze now on her neck. Now, when I see that come down there, she had one inch. Did you see the inch mm -hmm. come down? Now, watch this happen now. There, tell her how good she is. A little bit of a squeeze, but the timing's got to be exact. If it goes up, I don't mind. There, now down again. There, tell her how good she is. Again, right. This is so important for horses that you can relax them yeah. with you. Relax them with you. Yeah, that's what I was waiting for. You see that little bit? Mm -hmm. So you can do this. Mm -hmm. Let's see your little video. Little bit of a pressure here. Uh, little bit of a squeeze on the neck, but it's a bit like tapping your head and rubbing your tummy. You've got to let them go at the same top there. Yeah. See how I let them go? Yeah. Um, again. You can learn to get rid of it there. There. Okay, right. So. Okay. Okay, get ready. Gib. Yeah. Right. Okay. Do you see how we're working with her? Yeah. Yeah. We're making a, it her idea to pick up her feet and put up with it. Okay. One, two, three, take it away. Okay. Give. Okay. So I think, I think I could trim them now myself. Um, would you agree? Yeah. Like, um, I, I mean, I've got them here. I could, I think, yeah. um, you know, I'm rasping those now. Um, yeah? That's a good place for me to end, not for you, because you're going to have to pick it up. But I've got them now, and I, you know, I could pretty much, I think. So one, two, three, give. No, take away. Take away. You got that wrong. She'd stop, G. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Uh, right. So one She's... more time now. No, I'm going to just disengage one more time. Mm. Bring her back. Um, yeah. Um, um, she, yeah. All right, I want to send her. From there, get the tips working, yeah, send her. A bit more. Just up and down with the thing until she goes. Go on, up and down. Go on again. Stop. Yeah, okay. That's good. Get ready. Okay. Okay, if really good, really good. No station. Do you think of that? It's incredible. Huh? <laughs> Say that again. It's incredible. <laughs> <laughs> okay, one, two, three. Okay. Right. Now we get somewhere. She came a step, I'll tell her how good she is, and again. There, there. Now, I would say, not too bad. Like, do you understand about the safety of this? Yes, yes. It's safer here, there's, no, there's nothing completely safe. Yeah. Now, I want it to go one more, I'll tell you why, because look where, She's resting see on how here. the foot is? Yeah. So if you can get her to, to change the weight onto this. There, good, yeah. Yeah. good girl, right, okay. So get ready with that, all right? So I'm gonna run my hand down. If she goes, I don't care. Don't give it yet. No, no. Put it behind your mat, yeah. 
I don't care if she goes. The more she goes there, this is where it's hard for us to get our heads around it. The more she goes, the more you put her right. Yeah. The more she, it's her idea to stay in the end because yeah, yeah. all it means, it does nothing for her yeah. to go. Yeah. No hitting, no being nasty, yeah. no, everything with a smile on our face. All right, get ready. Right, ready? Give, give. Okay, that's it, that's it. Is she having it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, give her a little rub on her forehead, just gently. Yeah. This is brilliant. Really good. Really good. One, two, three, take away. Yeah. Tell her I've got cheese. Tell her I've got cheese. How do you think of that then? Brilliant. Isn't it? Yeah. She's great. <laughs> she's great. No, she's doing great. Remarkable Ruby. If I can't can pick up her back feet, yeah. we still, right, this is quite deep. Unless you can pick up all four feet with a good attitude, I think you're stealing a ride off her. And I think that's happened since she was whenever these feet came I in. Like I think we're stealing out. rides. I would never even consider riding a horse, getting on one that I can't pick yeah, yeah, yeah. feet yeah, up yeah, on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and if you, God forbid, can you imagine if anyone came off her and got a foot caught and she's down by the back feet? Can you imagine? You see what I'm saying? It's very deep, this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steep stuff. Right, get ready. Okay? So, one, two, three. Okay, good. Okay, good. Right, then I'm going to come back with this. Right. Uh, in a minute, I might tell you to take it away. Right? Take away. That was quite a lot of. Uh, you know, quite a lot of bigger, yeah. So, so all this is doing for her, but we've got to be quick with this. Yeah. Like from when she did it. Yeah. So I'm going to disengage her now. Quite a bit. Right, and then I'm going to go the other way. Now, what I'm going to do now. Now I'm feeling a little safe around her. Yeah. You're always going to do this, okay? You're always going to do this, what I'm showing you. Yeah. I'm going to sit, see if I can get her to pick it up out here, all right? So it's going to be her choice. Now I might have to ask her four or five times to get ready with the lick. Get ready with the lick, all right? Yeah. One, two, if she moves, give. Yeah. Okay. Is she having it? No, yeah. she's got no <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> She's pretending. Take it away. I don't want you doing what I'm doing here. It's just that I can be quicker with the disengagement yeah. if she takes it away. Yeah. All right, so look, I'm not even holding her now. All right? Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come down, take a foot, give it her. How's that? Yeah, yeah she's she's, she's like, like I don't, yeah. she said I'm not falling for it anymore. <laughs> but this is good, isn't it? Look at this. Yeah. Uh, uh, you seen? Yeah, good. That's brilliant. Really good. <laughs> Tell her how good she is. Yeah, really good. How good you are. Huh? Well, I don't want you to do it in the idea. Yeah. I don't want you to do it. Yeah. Uh, okay. And she knows exactly that I'm not. Kind of there now. Exactly. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very good cheers. Now we're going to put it back. We're going to. Lovely, lovely. Okay, get ready with the lick. Good. How good's this? See that tan? Brilliant. Huh? Yeah. Years and years and years of sedation. No. Oh. Huh? Hey, look yeah. at that. Good. Quality with gracefulness. Gracefulness. In your mind, released every time she comes over to me. Yeah. Love wow. Yeah. Good girl. Yeah. That's it.
a little bit more. Lovely. And we'll tell her how good she is. Now you're getting better. Do you think she's getting better with the flag? Yeah. Definitely. You Your timing's getting better. Definitely. All right, okay, get ready. Right, get ready, okay. Give. And she's just putting her mouth in it just to pretend. Yeah. Yeah. I don't need any more, but you know, I'm playing the game. One, two, three. Good girl. Now we'll put her in for five minutes. In fact, no, we won't. You're going to come and do that now. You're going to run your hand down. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm here. Shall we I tell you to move out the way, you move out the way. Okay. So, you got this. Run from here, straight down. Bring <laughs> your hand down, smile. So we're at that point now. I almost dread this with pretty much most jobs. The transferring, the handing over a little bit, so that hopefully if Ruby's owner can pick up a foot and have that thought, hold that thought, thought, and Ruby knowing that her owner has done it then it can be a great way to finish things because the last thing the pony does is the first thing the pony learns overnight with the break in between. So how will this go? Remember, there's two years of history and I always mention to people, there's history. Don't get upset if it doesn't go up. There's history. Ruby knows exactly who her owner is and exactly how many times that her owner has tried to pick up the feet and has managed to, in her mind, save herself by not giving the feet and threatening and kicking. Just like kicking her phone out of her hand earlier. So how would it go? Okay, I wish I could take bets. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you'll see now exactly how it goes. Will, will Ruby pick her feet up nicely and with a good attitude? Or will she move away and say no and will I have to get more involved? Let's have a look. Smile. Now move out the way. Move out the way. Right. Right. Now then. Rub. Rub. You come in from here. Back. And get it. Now you see this history here. Yeah. Move out the way. Move out the way. There's history here. Yeah. So. Right. You come around here. I'm going to reinforce that. So this is two years of saying no. They know everyone's smell, everyone's everything. So, right, get ready. Okay, now look at the difference, right? But we'll, uh, we'll, we'll work on this now. Right then, so. I think that's quite remarkable for people to see that in real time. The difference, that's only happening like that for me because of the leadership that I've shown Ruby. Ruby now, feels no threat from me. She knows I'm her teacher. She knows I'm holding her hand through this. It's, it's remarkable, isn't it? For me, being that little bit of firmness, getting control of her feet, getting control of my space, it's right there in front of everyone to see how Ruby just lets me pick that foot up, no problem at all. But because uh, Ruby's owner doesn't represent, as I do, leadership and control of her feet and the importance of, my, of her space, it's just not the same, is it, guys? Which is where, you know, Ruby, Ruby's owner needs to really consider, after watching the video, maybe having a few lessons from maybe a groundwork, uh, you know, somebody professional, or work through it herself, get determined enough, big smile on your face, and get some real uh, quality groundwork done, and then hopefully things will change. Now, I'm going to put the string on because your first job is to get the yeah. little bit of pressure up. Go yeah. go further in. Yeah. A little bit of pressure up yeah. and let it go when she takes the weight off. Go on, hold the pressure. Hold the pressure. Hold the pressure. Take it off. Right, now run your hand down there now because look. Yeah, run your hand down there. Get in there and pick it up. There. That's it. And then just nicely and then put it down tell me when down. good so stick there yes now ready go go down she's got it ready for you go down pick it up gently right and 
rub on her, just rub on her. And then when you're ready, tell me one, two, three, and then yeah. let go. How you feel? Yeah. But she's telling, she's telling you, she's so used to your hand going yeah. down. And then. Yes. Yeah. So that's why these strings are invaluable. Yeah, yeah. So if she thrashes, you just smile and hold <laughs> until the toes off. Yeah. Right. Take it off now with quality. So go down. Take it off. Take that off. Yeah. Yeah. Just take it off with quality. Go on. Pull it through. Then give her a rub on her neck. Come around. Now I'm going to send her to you here. Yeah. You're going to put that on. Yeah. You're going to pull it a little bit. You're going to get her toe on. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think you've watched enough. What's your name? Abby. Abby. I think you've watched enough that when the video goes on you'll be able to watch it if you can yeah. and really try and help because yeah, well, be you'll be able to be a wingman or a flagman yeah, yeah, exactly. you can be a flagman <laughs> yeah right so i'm sending her so you get to where right so i am now i'm gonna send it to you but you've got to get out of her way you've got to get out of her way yeah so Now come, come in here. Okay, give her a rub. Give her a rub. Right, put that on there. Now if she goes, welcome it because I'll just send her back. I don't care. Okay. okay. So, so do I, sorry, that's good question. Do I yeah. just like put it around the leg? I just put it around the leg and then put it through and then, and then hold on. Okay, so if she goes, got that, that's good. Now then drop it down. Pass, yeah. Oh, sorry. That's all right. Mm -hmm. Right, look, don't pull it because look, she's telling you. She's telling you she's okay, look. So run your hand down and pick it up. Run your hand down, pick it up. Yes, with yeah. quality. Okay. How's that? Excellent. Because she's learning. She, she prepared herself for you then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She says, don't panic. Oh. When I leave town, you can. No. Honestly, these old horses don't yeah. panic. No. They don't like it, they don't know what it is. Stroke. Yeah. Only stroke. I would never, I realized 20 years ago when I was learning this stuff, I didn't even know how to pet one night. <laughs> so anyway, I used to slap on them. You know what? I used to go ride with me, mate. Yeah, yeah. And you could see them, they don't know what it is. They hate it and they put up with us with it. Oh. But I wouldn't do it. Yeah, Make it a nice stroke or a scratch in the places they like. Right, prepare her now. Get her weight on her toe with quality. Mm -hmm with quality, just a nice steady pressure until it's on her toe, you take it off when it comes up, keep a pressure, keep a pressure, take, take it off. Yes, she's ready for you, she's ready for you. Okay, how's that girlie? Yeah. <laughs> Do you reckon? But I would get some nice, if she doesn't like this colour of lip, with quality now, one, two, three, let it go. Now with quality, take, when I say with quality, no, Jagged movements, no. Everything smooth and predictable. Take the string off. Yeah. She's preparing herself constantly for us now. Uh, perfect. Give her, a, give her a stroke. And then we're going to put her in. That's where we're going to leave it because if I go further than this, yeah. we'll, she'll say, how much do you want from me? Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. So we'll, we've changed her complete psyche about feet. Uh, but right, we'll put her in now. Now, while I'm here, while I'm here, I will not waste this because it's another chance to watch it. Now I've gone from neutral. Now I'm sending her in. Now look, I'm going to disengage her hind quarters. I look at them, bring her forward a step, tell her how good she is. Just lay my hand on her forehead, and then I'm going to take this off here. All right. Now I'll leave it with a note of dropping her head. Just everything with a little bit of something to it, all right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Do you feel a bit more hope? Yeah, absolutely. Don't let the kids round her. No, no, they don't. Because, you know, you two girls, I think, could crack this in a few yeah. weeks. If you yeah. Put the effort in. Wait for your video. Right, I'm just going to diverse a bit. This is for Linda and Danny. When you watch this video, there's your four step and it's even got a handrail. How about that?
So I, what I show now is what people can do. It's no good me doing how I do it, you know. So, uh, but I think the sofa flat pony, and I think if you can get this done between you, I'd love you to send me a couple of clips. Good girl, Ruby. Hi. But like I say, you will benefit from the video because you will remarkable, be Ruby. So you're almost better not doing it. So guys, I really admire Ruby's owner for getting me, me and Tanya out there. Look at the joy that this little Ruby gives the kids. So how how can she get rid of her? They, they'd be devastated. So she's very careful with the kids being around Ruby's back, back end. And she's got us out there. And I really feel that, you know, if, the, if she puts the effort in with her friend who's going to help her, I feel like they, they can get there. But you still... And Ruby's owner knows that she still wouldn't be able to trust her enough to allow the kids around there, around the back end. So, yeah, guys, fair play to her. And how about um, Ruby's mommy having the, 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 the guts to be able to go and pick those feet up after all the kicking and threats and near misses that she's had with Ruby took a lot, a lot of guts and determination. Um, and bravery to do that. Here we are, two and a half hours later, you did a grand job. Oh, Tan, it worries me, the kids about no. Oh, I know, And I know. did you notice the difference when? She did it for the first time. Oh, well, it was... But she got it at the end. No, she put a brave pants on, yeah. and she did it, and her friend's gonna help. They're gonna wait for the video, because I've suggested a way for the final points of that video. And then, yeah, how wonderful is that, Tan? Do you like for that pony? I know. And, you know, like I so said, I've been stealing a ride for it's 18 years of age, that pony, and there's never allowed people to and her name is Ruby. sedation. Her name is Ruby, and now yeah. she's going to be remarkable, Ruby, because she won't need sedation after all these years. Like That's that. a little heart. <laughs> right. Brilliant. You know I want to go now. Right, look. I want to go look at the castle. Can we go to the and castle? And then we've got, what, a four-hour journey then? Yeah. To a hotel. Yeah, ready for ready the Ready for the job big job tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes. Okay, I'm sure we'll have a nice Lovely little day. meal later. Yeah. We do have a little bit of rain, but not a lot. That's a big castle. Yeah. It's well preserved, isn't it? Got your information? I didn't say when it was built. Did you not ask the lady? Yes, I've got leaflets. So I can find out when it was that built. Guys, you know, uh, the pony had done enough, really. You know, you, like I say, you can't keep going, um, you know, because she couldn't start going backwards. So I felt that was just the right time. I've asked the girls not to do too much with the feet until they see this video because so much is revealed that, that you forget with the videos and it's really helpful for the owners to see the video go through it and do it a bit at a time so i'll uh, i'm looking forward to finding out how, how they're getting on with that with that pony so off we went then to the next job um which was i think is about three or four hours from there stayed over and carried on with our trip but uh funny enough uh uh we do go a long way to these jobs but yesterday yesterday morning i went to a job which was literally literally three minutes from here and the lady uh, lovely lady who owned this dun horse a young horse quite quite a chunky cob um hadn't owned it long and inherited a little problem where it wouldn't stand still at the mountain block quite you know just kept on moving 
it was getting it was getting quite quite dangerous maybe uh, and uh, this lady couldn't believe it she's been watching the videos with her husband and uh, it turns out we're like a couple of minutes away so we went over and it was a it was a great visit actually three hours and uh, quite a lot took place in that that'll be a video another video coming so that's it guys uh i'm off and i uh, hope you enjoyed that one lots of little ponies that have got these little issues big issues in fact a lot of them uh, i hope that'll help some people um remember if you if you're not good with the ropes uh then get someone to help because you've got to you can almost make it worse if if you don't hold the rope enough till that foot goes quiet then you're having a breakthrough from the breakdown uh so that's it yeah look, guys like share comment uh really appreciate that and if you can share it that's a bonus as well so yeah okay guys we're off happy trails see you soon blah blah blah